Hello my beautiful Scorpios and welcome to your mid-November love reading. I hope you're doing well. Um, feels like it's been a little bit because I've been unwell with tonsillitis so um, <clears throat> haven't been pumping out the readings as much. So I want to have a look and see what's going on for us in love. Um, there's an ending of some kind. We have conclusions are within reach and we also have a fiery climax approaches. The good news is I'm feeling like it could be the ending of a particularly difficult cycle. Um, there could be some kind of conflict with this fiery climax, but look what it brings. A new start is coming. We've got bring love into the situation um, and I'm hearing the word balance. I feel like this ending, whatever is coming to an end, it could be a karmic cycle. Um, it, it brings with it fresh new energy. It brings with it possibly new love um, or a new beginning in love. I, I'm sure we will have a lot of aces come up in the tarot um, and I'm getting a sense of balance finally being restored so that's what I'm getting. Again, that's all I've done in terms of a pre-shuffle. So we're, we're kind of going in blind here, Scorpio. So let's see what the tarot says is in store for us in uh, mid-November. Angels and spirit, please show me what can Scorpios expect in love? Scorpios expect in love, please, in mid-November 2021. Five of Cups in the reverse. I feel like you're no longer, you know, um, crying over something. Page of Pentacles. That could be some form of communication or an apology or there's someone new that you're getting to know here, Page of Pentacles. What I'm getting, it's coming out next to the Nine of Pentacles. It could be that potentially, Scorpio, you have a few admirers wanting to get to know you. You're the Nine of Pentacles here. So, you know, that's the, the Bachelor, the Bachelorette. That's the, the catch, the pick of the pack. I feel like there's a few people wanting to throw their hat in the ring with you. Um, we have Pisces energy here with the High Priestess and the Hanged Man. Um, but what I'm getting is, um, with the, the High Priestess in the reverse, you're waiting, you're waiting for, um, a secret. Something that you feel has been held back from you, um, before you feel like you can move forward. The High Priestess in the reverse is, is something that you don't know right the hanged man you're feeling like um you're, you're waiting you're waiting for the tower which is the revelation yeah okay very interesting you're waiting for that because you feel like it's going to bring relief ten of wands in the reverse you want to put down an emotional burden something that you've carried carried for a long time um, it's kept you stuck. You know, that's what I'm getting from the Hanged Man. Uh, the Judgment card is here. So you've got some powerful cards with the Tower and the Judgment. You know, this is, this is the fiery climax. So the Judgment is <clears throat> your decision, I feel. It's like your final decision on the matter. We have the King of Cups, which is your energy, but I actually feel like it's someone wanting to offer their cup to you, someone who might have betrayed you in the past, Scorpio. We have the Three of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, they've, they've hidden something from you. The Moon in the reverse. They, they want to come in and tell you some kind of truth. So the truth is being revealed. We have the Six of Cups in the reverse. It's something that's happened in the past. It's something that you might have found... You just found it hard to move on from this. You've been stuck in the past because you knew that there was something that you were missing. You were missing a piece to the puzzle. Six of Cups in the reverse. This person left a bad taste in your mouth. Um, 
I feel like it's made you stronger as a person, this whole experience. We have the strength card, um, but guess what? The death card is next to the strength card. I feel like um, you're in a strong position here. You're going to be the one making the decision, but with the strength card next to the death card, it's telling me that you having to be strong and you having to hold on and be patient in some kind of situation, you will no longer. You know, this situation is being transformed. We have the Ace of Swords in the reverse next to the Emperor. So I feel like this is a lie. I'm getting the Ace of Swords being this Emperor keeping you stuck in a state of confusion um, because it gave them a sense of control. That's what I'm getting. Okay, now we have a Divine Counterpart here. We have the Emperor next to the Empress. Okay, so it's someone that you felt, felt really connected to. You felt like there, were, there was a power couple scenario happening here. You, you wanted to build an empire together at one point, but then the situation just left you feeling stressed, stuck, anxious, all up in your head. Um, sleepless nights, they could have put you in a third party situation because we have the three of swords in the reverse here next to the lovers in the reverse. So I feel like they could have chosen somebody over you. And I feel like in the recent past, you could have gone, hell no, I'm not waiting around for this shit. Six of swords. I feel like you went on your merry way. You set sail and you became the queen of swords. So you kind of went cold on this person. You may have cut them out. You may have blocked them. Um, you may have just, yeah, put your strong boundaries in place. I feel like you went off and created your own stability um, and reason to celebrate, you know, four of wands, celebration, stability, foundations, ace of cups. I feel like you learnt to fill up your own cup. And, you know, I feel like that's part of the, the lesson that you had to learn in order to reach the end of this karmic cycle. I'm not seeing the world card yet, but that's what I feel like has been an unexpected gift from this experience. You, you figured out how to be happy on your own the star you healed yourself okay i'm seeing a rebirth here i'm seeing a transformation here yeah see an inability to see the truth um kept you stuck we have the eight of swords next to the hermit in the reverse so you weren't seeing something. You know, the Hermit talks about illumination. It talks about wisdom, um, being on an inner journey to seek out the truth. When it's in the reverse, I feel like you weren't seeing something and it, that was what was keeping you stuck. Again, I'm getting that it was. It could have been a deliberate um, strategy from this King of Wands and he was coming out as the Emperor before. This person likes power. They like to be in a position of control, so much so that it's coming out as a bit of a toxic behavior with the Devil. Um, with the Five of Swords, I feel like this person wants to repair the damage that they did. Um, you know, they're mind games, their ego, their manipulations, I think didn't work out for them. Um, cause we have the 10 of cups in the reverse. I feel like they're worried that, um, they're worried that they've lost you forever is what I'm hearing. Okay. They could have kept from you that they were juggling you and another person. You know, they were keeping their options open. That's what I'm getting from the two of pentacles next to the four of pentacles. They were holding something back. And um, ace of pentacles in the reverse, that's false promises. You know, not um, being reliable, not offering you anything of substance. Um, it's also a relationship that never quite got off the ground is what I'm getting for some of you that will apply. Um, now this person is strategi strategizing. I can see that very, very clearly. We have the King of Swords, who is the strategist, next to the Two of Wands, making plans, plotting. Okay, I'm getting plotting. We have the Page of Cups in the reverse. I feel like they were hoping to hear from you first. They were hoping that you would open up the lines of communication. Um, and they've realized that that's just not going to happen. I mean, the Queen of Swords just doesn't initiate, right? She goes cold. Um, so I feel like they're going to be issuing some kind of an apology might be a little bit too little too late though we have the chariot here so they're charging in seven of wands in the reverse they don't want to 
um, they don't want to battle with you anymore, Scorpio. I feel like they want to, instead, they want to fight for this connection. So rather than resist it like they did in the past, um, they want to fight for this connection because the chariot is moving towards the Queen of Cups, which is you. Um, you have the Two of Swords. Now, this is telling me that they're going to try and keep you in the dark about something. You know, remember the Two of Swords is about the blindfolded woman. So she's still being kept in the dark about something. Um, and, um, you know, that's what was kind of keeping you stuck for so long. So I feel like you're not going to accept that. Um, so there's going to be a stalemate unless unless they can um, be honest with you, is what I'm feeling. With the Magician in the reverse next to the Seven of Swords, be careful, Scorpio, because this is a manipulator, all right? The Magician in the reverse um, is not above... Uh, it's not above dirty tactics to get their own way okay next to the seven of swords that's deception so what i'm getting here is they're willing to um they're willing to tell you lies they're willing to um sugarcoat or oh, what am i hearing I'm, I'm getting dilute the truth in order to get what they want here so just be careful What I'm getting here is the world next to the temperance card. I'm getting, yeah, um, the end of a cycle and balance being restored. Um, I'm seeing healing of a situation. Um, I'm also seeing um, it took a long time. It, this, this cycle has taken a long time and it's tested your patience is what I'm getting here. Ah, okay, I'm seeing a gift of some sort, Knight of Cups next to the Six of Pentacles, but more than anything, it's um, it's a gesture, it's an offer. Knight of Cups and the Six of Pentacles, I'm getting that could be a gift for some of you. Could be unexpected because it's coming out before the Two of Cups in the reverse. So the two of you have been in separation and, and it's possible, yeah, that this offer comes in quite out of the blue. You're going to be in conflict um, about this because we have the Queen of Wands next to the Five of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. So I'm getting, the, with the Five of Wands next to the Seven of Pentacles, you're going to be at a crossroads. You're going to be thinking about what this person did to you in the past and you're going to be wondering if you were to, to accept their offer. Look at this. Look, look at what's happening in that image. Will you have ultimate victory? Will you get what you want? And in this case, I feel what you want is the Ten of Pentacles. There's a lack of trust here, but there's unfinished business. So I think that's your conundrum. You're like, but I still have unresolved feelings. I, I still have um, this sense of not being finished with this person, but then I, I don't want to take a leap of faith with them because I don't trust them. You're trying to observe, you're trying to get to the bottom of something. Um, with the Page of Swords in the reverse, be careful because I feel like you're not, you aren't seeing the, the full picture. That's the need to do your due diligence, right? All right, so that's what I'm getting. Let's get some oracles on it. See what's on the bottom of the deck? The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, an offer that's been very slow in the making. Just bear with me. I need to clear some space. Oh. Very interesting. Let's see. What does Scorpio need to know about this person? Scorpio need to know about this person that they're dealing with in mid-November 2021, please. 
What does Scorpio need to know about this person that they're dealing with? This is a new deck, so I just want to give it a good shuffle. What does Scorpio need to know about the person that they're dealing with in mid-November, please? So we have, I dream about you often and I wonder, do you dream of me too? This person has been focused on family matters right now. Um, you know, maybe a member of the family has needed them financially. Maybe um, they've been ill and so this person has had their hands tied caring for family. Um, so the, the prospect of dating you was just too difficult for them. Look at this. I'm going to sneak back into your life and pretend nothing ever happened. I know I'm a coward. Okay, so this person doesn't want to take accountability for whatever they've done to you. Ah, okay. You are on a fact-finding mission, Scorpio, but this card is saying it's not a good time to push hard for answers that you may not like. You know, um wait for wait for them to be revealed wait for the answers to come to you at the right time that's what this card is saying we've got let's go out for a drink um careful not to have regrets the next morning so this person is going to try and you know um get you into a place where you're relaxed uh, they want to just uh, pretend like you're going for a casual drink somewhere. It's meaningless. It's, you know, low, low risk. <laughs> um, and then the plan is hopefully Scorpio's unbridled passion will win the day and they'll get what they want from you. So just be careful. They're not ready for commitment, Scorpio, because we have... It would be too much of a risk for me to jump into anything with you. I'm scared of the outcome. <sighs> You're dealing with a coward here. Um, ooh, okay. You are going to get hit with some harsh truths, okay? And even though I said that they're going to dilute the truth, um, still, this person is about to tell you something that may hurt your feelings, but they, they know that they need to be honest with you. Ah, they are willing to start a fight just to have a chance to talk to you. They just want you to say something. Okay, so they want to break the silence. But this person is in and out. And I think that uh, you're going to have not much patience for this person. They've kind of let this connection um, just go and, and, and they've left it up to the universe. If it's meant to be, it will be. And and for you, I don't think that's going to be enough. And this person pops in and out of your life whenever they please. But something has ignited their jealousy and it made them want to rush in. So I don't know if they've, they've um, been thinking, oh, Scorpio's met someone new. Um, but they don't like the prospect of, you know, having to compete for you is what I'm getting here. Oh my God, there's a secret. We've got, I've been keeping a secret from you and I'm now ready to reveal it to you. They want to make it up to you, but you need to be careful of this person. As I said to you, they are manipulative and we have a card here saying that they want to have their cake and to eat it too. They're being selfish. This person sees a future with you though. We have, um, would you mind spending the rest of your life with me? I'm convinced you're the one for me. So my concern is that they're going to come in and tell you, yeah, I was with someone else. We broke up. But with this card about wanting to have their cake and to eat it, 
but make sure that they've cut ties totally with that person or make sure that they're not still on the dating apps. You know, I feel like this person is going to promise you the world when they're not ready to commit. They're just not ready to commit. So you need to be careful. So I'm going to take this into an extended Scorpio. We're going to have a look at the, I mean, the secret that they're going to reveal is going to be different for all of you, but um, I'm going to see what else I can find out about it and anything else you need to know, you know, your advice, how you should approach this person. Um, so I'll see you on the other side. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.